Yo, tell a brother to give you a tow drive sign. That's talking about the, pa the uh, Panamanians, man. All right? I I'm, if I'm correct, <laughs> that's why I need to slide. Hey, sometimes, you know. But anyway. Yeah, that's up. Yeah, so uh, I said it should be up to Zidane. Now, why? Why they call it Zidane? It's talking about Central Central America, man. That 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 uh, part of, of America, Central America, all right? You had the so-called Panama, the Panama Canal, all right? They made a big deal out of that during the time of Noriega. Uh, Esau went up in there. They tried to say they were going after Noriega. They killed, that was in the uh, late 80s. They killed a lot of the people of Panama back then. All right, so let me get this straight. Zebulon. All right, from Guatemala to Panama. All right, it was dealing with the Panama, the Panamanian Canal. Okay, Esau because of, um, they were, they ran down there because I guess the time of the uh, the contract they had with the Panama Canal and with the government of Panama, it was about to be up where the it was going to go back to the Panamanian people. Uh, they hired a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, Jamaicans, all right, uh, the tribe of Benjamin, uh, Benjaminites, to go over there and, and, and build that, all right, Pan that, that Panama, uh, the um, Panama Canal, okay. Uh, and the reason why they went through that trouble is because that was a strategic point for ships to cut through to join them from the Atlantic to the Pacific and vice versa, all right. And a lot, a lot of them died building it. Now, you have something called the Panamanian Deception. Esau went there, they went there with their, mili with their military. They tried to say they went to attack Noriega. That was bullshit. They went, first of all, they went into the poor parts of Panama where, where the majority of them were Israel. The richer, richer parts of Panama were more, more so Esau and shit, or lighter skinned Panamanians, right? And they went in there with laser guns. They showed a car split in half by a, with people in it. They shot a laser beam. It said, shot, chopped it right in half. That, you brothers go check that documentary out. It was called the Panamanian Deception, man. Yeah, they showed people melted. They melt, melt people, man. Melt children, women. They didn't give a shit. All right, it was it was cruel what they did. And I said it should be up to the borders of what? Zidon? Yeah, it says, and its borders shall be on to Zidon. Right, I said, and its borders shall be in Zidon. It, it wasn't talking about Tyre and Zidon over there in the land of Israel. It wasn't talking about where the uh, Phoenicians came from. It was talking about over here. Because this is where, is the, where the Lord brought them to. Central America, all right? Central America. Zidon, why? Because the, the Phoenicians came here First, before Israel came over here, the Phoenicians, all right, and their navy, their navy came over here and they built new civilizations. And, and this was New Canaan. America was the American was, was known as New Canaan. That's why you had the big old, the Colossus, the big old McHeads. Those are Hamites. Those are not Israelites. All right. And they been, they were here for a little while, man. So they knew. That's why they were going back and forth. They knew of this this part of the land. And it says should be up to Zidon because this was the new Tyre and Zidon over here in the Americas. Go ahead. It says Issachar is a strong ass. Issachar. See, you can't see it. Make sure you got tell the brothers to read through this sign. Issachar is the so-called Mexicans. All right, they are our brothers too. You are of the lost tribes of native. We got brothers in Cali that are in the faith now. All right, them brothers are going to be over other brothers that are going to come in because the full gathering has not come yet, but we're very close. More so-called Mexicans, Issachar right, are going to come into this. All right, to uh, twelve thousand to be exact. We're living in those days now. Go ahead. It says, Issachar is a strong ass crouching down between two burdens. Mm -hmm. And he saw that the right. Issachar is a strong ass crouching down between two burdens because he was made, he was created. The word Issachar comes from the Hebrew word Yash Shakar, which means he is hired. And that's one of the traits of the people, the so-called Mexicans, was, was they, they are always hired for work. Why? Because they work hard and they work cheap. Alright, go ahead. 
Says, and he saw that rest was good. He saw that rest was good. That's going into another characteristic of the so-called Mexicans, which is called the siesta. They work hard, bust their ass. But when noon co noon time come, or when the time of break come, boy, they 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 relax. They relax to the fullest. They go to sleep. Whatever they gotta do, man. They'll, they'll chill out, and you can't during their siesta. You can't have them do nothing, man. I remember years ago, I brought my car to a it's a correct mechanic, and uh, I brought it during their siesta time, during their break. And I was like, come on, man, if you don't fix my car, you know, they're like, yeah, 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 papi, yeah, yeah, you know, cup in the cup. Yeah. They, they, they were like, look, man, we ain't doing nothing until our siesta is up, and then we'll work on your car. And I was like, damn, man, you know? But that was, that was, that was, that's their spirit. So I couldn't get too mad at it. Go ahead. It says, and the hand that is, that is, was pleasant, and bowed his shoulder to bear, and became a servant or to trip him. A certain meaning, he, he bowed himself to whoever will hire him. And this, in this day and age, it's Esau, right? They got the power, so they need a, they need some construction work done. Yeah. They'll, they'll go to one of them streets where Issacar's all lined up waiting for jobs. Boom, pick him up. Take him to work. All right, go ahead. It says, then shall judge his people as one And that's the reason why they passed the legislation to to have that uh, connection with, with Issacar now. Open up, they're considering op opening up the borders for Issacar because they know that they work cheap. And that's stimulating the economy. Because the economy is fucked up. They can't pay people. They can't pay these construction workers what, what they're supposed to, you know, get paid. So a lot of construction workers they don't want to work. So what? They go okay. So we're gonna go to who? To the to the to the to to Issacar. Cause they work cheap. Yeah, cause Judah go one by seventeen, eighteen dollars an hour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because they got the skills, so they right, get more money. Right, because they you know they're supposed to get paid like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Issacar works yeah, they fast they and works cheap. You know? It's more than them. Though. Well, it's yeah, all, yeah, good. You know, it's spiritual. Yeah. It's a spiritual thing. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, say what you got to say. No, no, because um, I'm in construction. A lot of brothers in construction. Okay. Like, because uh, this new company that's coming out, that's what they're doing. They're so what's, doing what's, the, what's, what's like an uh, average pay? Pay rate for what you have to for, for labor, it's like $39. $39 an hour. Hey. For like a steam fit, it's like $50 an hour. For an electrician, it's like $60 an hour. Look at that. Plumbers, $55. The so on and so forth. Now, Siami is a construction company that's coming from a different state and want uh, uh, basically everybody to work for the, the plumbers, the, uh, the laborers getting eight dollars an hour, the carpenters getting ten dollars an hour, and the, um, the engineers getting twelve. Have to get wet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's getting twelve. So basically, they're trying to cut that whole thing. But if it's a car come up in here, you so so and they pay they pay pretty much it's car half of what they will pay Jake. That's, that's eight dollars an hour for the laborers from thirty nine to eight. Oh that's, shit! That's a, that's a, <laughs> Look at that. So who you who who you think they're gonna hire? Man? Exactly. Who you think that, that's a that's a uh, no brainer. That's, yeah. that's, that's, a, that's a no brainer, man. It's and is it? And then you get you know uh, you know <laughs> you know it's a car. They like to party too. Give them, give them some money. Give them some beer, give them some women, and they they, they good to go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. It says, "Then shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel." It says, right now, spiritually, Dan has been taken out. All right. The, the the main prophecy of Dan was was Samson. All right. That was the you know the whole you know in the, when Yahweh Shai come, we're gonna know the whole scoop on that. But we know in Revelation seven, they're not they're not mentioned. Amongst the, the chosen. Go ahead. It says, Then shall be a serpent by the way, an adder in the path that biteth the horse heel. It's talking about Samson, right? So that his rider shall fall backwards. Yeah, have, because Samson, the Lord raised up Sam, uh, Samson to go up against the Philistines. Alright? And kick 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 their ass. Alright, so speak. Go ahead. I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. That is a truth. Gad, a troop shall overcome him. Get back to Gad, the North American Indians, right? The Gadites. Listen, motherfuck the casino. First of all, y'all, those casinos ain't yours. The so-called Jews is behind the whole scene, all right? Running shit. All right, let's keep it fucking real, man. They just got you up in there working, man, as a fucking slave. All right? Then y'all go back to y'all reservoir fucking vases, man. Where Esau stuck you at with liquor and drugs. 
and and and, and whatever other bullshit y'all got up in drugs and reli bullshit religion. All right, forget about what what your what your so-called great mother taught you, you know, and your yeah, great yeah, yeah. fathers taught you about all that. The eagle came down and all that, and and blow hot air up his ass. Forget all that bullshit, man. Look, you follow the scriptures, and you go back to the you go. It's about to close. You go back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father, because that's what belongs to you. All right. All right, and 